So this is just a really quick episode because I want to share two pieces of really exciting news with you. The first one is that DaVinci Resolve Beta version 5 was released this morning. I've been in the studio and I'm having a play with it and I've got something exciting that I want to show you. And the second piece of exciting news is that Motion VFX have got a huge sale on at the minute. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite things in there, how to install it and what the deal is. So first of all, let's take a look in DaVinci Resolve. The project I did last week was all about Film Look Creator. And in there, this is the exact project I was working with. Uh, I'll put a link to that episode in the description and put it up here or wherever YouTube puts it. And um, in that episode, I was talking about how you create your filmic look, but there's no actual film emulation in there. So I don't know if the development team have seen that video maybe, but it's now been introduced. So within a week, that video is now out of date, which is typical for YouTube. So I wanna show you what they've done. So this is the project I was working on. And I was comparing it with Dehancer here, and then I went to Filmlet Creator. So this is my Filmlet Creator node. I'm gonna press Shift and F so you get a really nice big view so you can see what's going on. So last week, what we were looking at was up here, you've got this clean slate, and this allows you to dial in the film look here, and it was a generic filmic look that they've created. This is now called Cinematic. And this new pull down menu here now reveals some other elements. And in here, we've got four other looks. So we've got this Rochester one, we've got Akasaka, and we've got Elated, and we've got Vintage. And each one of these you can play around with the different properties. Now, I don't think it's any coincidence that Kodak's headquarters just happens to be in Rochester, and that Fujifilm headquarters is in Akasaka. These look very similar to those kind of filmic looks. So what they've not done is taken the exact stock name, but I would be sure that Akasaka is a nod to Fuji and Rochester is a nod to Kodak. So here is the, let's call it the Kodak look. And I can now go in here and make any adjustments I want. I can play with the split toning. All this I covered in last week's episode. So I really just want to update you with that. This is a fantastic update. Uh, let's just have quickly compare that. So this was the Dehancer one that we did last week. And this is now with the Kodak look. Let me just reset that. And then we'll just go down here to our custom and dial in Rochester, full strength on there. And let's compare that to Dehancer. There we go. So you can take your own judgment on that, but this is a really great improvement. So this is beta version five, just released today. So for those of you who follow my channel for a while, you'll know that I do all the graphics on YouTube and my production work using Motion VFX, and they've got a huge sale on them. And they have basically got a library that just keeps growing. So they've got over 60 packs now that work with DaVinci Resolve. And until this Monday, so you've not got long, they're doing 30% discount. You need to click the affiliate link in the description, type in the code HUGE30 at the checkout, and you're gonna get 30% off every single pack on their website. These are the ones that I've got. I've got loads of them in here. I use them all the time. These are some of the more garish ones. This is the M title film. I really like these ones actually. <laughs> um, they've got some really cool ones in here, but I've just installed a new one called M Lowers Universal. And what I like with this one is they're actually quite simple, but sort of classic. So these are great for the sort of work that I do. I just want it to look a bit more subtle, but they've got some cool things in there as well. So you've got little social media icons and all that sort of stuff. So let's take a look. What you need to do is go to the website and choose the ones that you want. So you can, you can have a preview on the website as well. So it's really easy to navigate around. And once you've purchased your packs, you load this thing called M Installer. And what that does is allow you to control the packs that you've purchased with the licensing. And this actually installs them into DaVinci Resolve for you as well. So each pack can be installed on two devices. That could be a Mac or PC. And this is the new one I've just got, MLOA's Universal. So I've only installed it on one of my two devices so far. And it appears automatically in DaVinci Resolve here. It installs itself. I can preview these. So to preview, you need to go up here and make sure your hover scrub preview is on. So if we have a look at down the end of this edit, this is the intro that I did last week for Filmlet Creator. In fact, Here's the title that I created. I used obviously Motion VFX. So this one was in M title film, and it was this one down here, I think. Yep. Yeah. So film title 59, and I've just customized it to give it my own look. And it looks really great. But let's just add a classic name super using this new one, MLO is Universal. So I've chosen one in advance here. I'm gonna bring it down, just drag and drop it. Now the engine that's animating this is all done in Fusion, but I don't know how to use Fusion that well. I don't need to either. All I've got to do is highlight the title and the inspector up here allows me to control it. The back engine is obviously Fusion, but I don't need to worry about that. So let's just change the title up here a little bit. I don't wanna be called a business strategy coach. Let's call it Darren Mostyn. 
I'm going to change, let's just bring the animation on full so I can line it up properly. I'm going to change the color here and I want to make it bolder. You can change the font, you can do whatever you want. Oops, let's just close that down and let's make it extra bold and let's change the scaling. You, all the parameters are totally customizable. And then I'm going to go down to the subtitle and let's just change the senior colorist and spell it the UK way. And what we really like with these is you can keep using the same effect, but the same title even, and you can just customize it each time. So it always looks different. That's what's really nice about it. So let's just make that not quite as big as that. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna just adjust the tracking so it lines up. And I wanna move it over here. So I've already got my transform on, or you can move it using the content positioning here. Drag and drop that over and let's have a quick look at that animating. And you can decide whether it animates in or out as well up here. That looks great. And if I want to change the duration, you just extend it on the edit page. Really easy. They also do LUTs and they do overlays and little film scratches and all that sort of stuff. So it, there's a lot more in there than just titles. So to take advantage of this, you've only got until Monday. You can get 30% off. Click the affiliate link in the description. Choose your packs. Type in HUGE30 at the checkout and you're going to get your discount. So I hope you enjoy the new Film Look Creator features. Get yourself a bargain on the Motion VFX website. Look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode.